And welcome to our vlog. Yes, we're doing a one take today because <clears throat> one, it's Tuesday, so we usually do a two take Tuesday, but we forgot the camera when we were going out the door um, and we didn't record anything before, so we're doing a one take instead. And if for some reason it doesn't work out, then maybe we'll change it into a two take Tuesday. <laughs> Um, but we have set up what we're going to talk about. I have something that I ordered off Etsy for some cute baby stuff. Then we have some more P.O. Box letters and a envelope from one of you guys. So we're going to talk about those. And we went to Bye Bye Baby, which is why I wanted to bring the camera with, because it would have been something interesting to vlog. And we got the diaper pail. We still have not gotten a diaper, um, like the pail liner, because I want to get a washable one. Because um, cloth diapering, you can just throw it in with the cloth diapers when you're washing and you don't have to worry about keep buying the ones that you have to throw away and it's pointless when you're cloth diapering to have a throwaway one. Doesn't make much sense. <clears throat> First, starting off, I got these little cute bows. Whoa, so bright. These little gold bow headband bows. This is going to be difficult because it's blurry. So if you do see some cuts, I probably just cut it because the blurriness and so it really was one take, but I'm saving you guys from seeing blurry stuff. <laughs> so I ordered these in three different sizes because they're going to be used for her monthly onesie pictures. So if you guys have been watching us for a while, then you know we got these from um, our sister-in-law. And they're just the little monthly onesies that you take a picture with. I'm take one out. Sure, you can take one out. Let's see it. Nine months. Oh my goodness. This is so small. <laughs> They're still small. She's going to be so, tiny. So, this is like the nine month one. And then you have the little bow that goes with it. So, this will be like up here? No. It will be on her head. Well, yeah. Like up oh, here. Oh, it looks like you're like putting like a bow tie. <laughs> <laughs> if only so, it would reach around my head. I'd I was hoping there. I would get them before um, she comes because uh, I have the zero to three month one, which I'm hoping will fit her because they had a newborn, but I didn't want to waste money on the newborn one. So I got a newborn one um, because we have another one that's not in here because it's packed in the hospital bag um, that says, hello, I'm new here, I think, is what the newborn one says. So, super exciting, and I'm glad I got those, and they match perfectly. So, Look at that. Look at this. It's going to be so cute. Perfect match. You're going to be so disappointed if it is a boy. Because you won't be able to use this. I know. It's going to be a girl. I know, it's real. Okay. I almost said <laughs> you're going to be disappointed if it's, and said his name. Oh, you but. guys can't know if it's a boy. Well, I thought people are going to be confused. We, obviously our gender ultrasound said it was a girl. But if for some weird reason she actually came out he, we do have the name already picked out. Mm -hmm. So at least we don't have to worry about that. Okay, letter time. I didn't think about it, but we're going to like have to read them. Mm. Which means we're, you're probably going to want to cut this. So this is from uh, Lacey. So maybe this isn't like a one take. There will be a lot of cuts, but really it is one take. So it's more like a vlog that's all in one place. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we'll call it the one place vlog. <laughs> Our kitchen. So this first letter is from Lacey Spencer, and it says Merry Christmas. Gators wants Merry Christmas. Enjoy your vlogs. Good luck with the upcoming arrival of your new, oh, of your baby girl. <laughs> I just added new. That's kind of funny. And a happy new year. Lacey Spencer. Thank you, Lacey. This is going to go up on the fridge. With the other ones that we still need to add. The yeah, they're, they're in a pile, pile right, right here. here ready to go add. on the fridge. We just haven't put them out there. This is from... Dusty Stamper, and I saw your comment saying on today's that, video yeah, saying that it was going to be coming. Oh, look at this cute puppy Aww. with a Santa hat. Wishing a... Uh, <laughs> please read on vlog? Yes, we will. Um, so, Dusty Stamper, Mark Cooper, Brianna Cooper, Chelsea Cooper, from the Stamper and Cooper family. Wishing you a truly joyous Christmas and a very happy new year. He's we love using, you guys. He's using a very theatrical voice for you guys today. <laughs> I gotta make it interesting because we're all in one place. The one place vlog. So this is from Alyssa Walls. Mm -hmm. Another Christmas card. How cute. Oh, and we got a picture. We got pictures. Pictures. 
Oh, you know, I've seen your pictures. I don't know if it's been on Instagram or Twitter, but I've seen you. I or see maybe it was just seen in the. <laughs> I have seen you. I recognize the face. And looks like her boyfriend is in the military. But I'm sure we will find out in this nice letter that she wrote. <laughs> so, yep, and then there's her and him. Well, what what you. city is that? I don't know. You gotta let us know. It might say in there. Maybe it is. Right. Merry Christmas and happy holidays to you and your family. Love the Walls family. Oh, maybe they're married. I apologize for calling him your boyfriend if he's your husband. Dear Ryan and Ari Ariana, my name is Alyssa Walls. I'm 21 years old and oh yeah, and married to my best friend. He's a soldier in the army. We have been married. Young couples unite! Yeah! We've been married for two years and have been together for three years. We have no kids yet, but would like two. Boy and girl. But, but for now, we have four boxers. Oh, two, wow. That's a lot. Two, two girls and two boys. They are our kids till we have kids. I just <laughs> wanted to let you know that I watch your guys' videos every night before bed. I love them. I'm so happy for you guys. On your first baby, I can't wait to see pictures of your baby girl. I have a question. How many times do you feed your dogs a day? And at what times of the day? Thanks so much for for your videos. God bless Alyssa Walls. Well, I'll let you know, Alyssa. Oh, did you want to Well, talk? currently, Levi has just taken his bowl, his water bowl, out of his thing, as you see. <laughs> so, the dogs eat twice a day. Levi eats four cups a day. Yeah, two cups in the morning, two at night. Levi eats four cups a day. When he was a full-fledged working service dog and went to school with me, he actually ate eight cups a day. You will never see that on a um, bag of dog food, but you kind of have to more think of dog food as guideline than um, rules, I guess you could say. Um, because for like a working dog, they work off so many calories um, that they need a lot more food. So now that he isn't really moving around a lot and I'm at home, he eats four cups a day and he eats two, he eats four cups a day, so two cups twice a day. He eats in the morning when Ryan wakes up and then the dogs eat again when Ryan gets home. So around like six they get fed again. And then Daters eats two cups a day, so some days she doesn't eat as much. So, um, and then same time for her as well. But Daisy has a rule that her food gets put up around 9, 30, 10 o'clock because she's not allowed to eat past that time because if she doesn't poop at night, she will poop in the apartment. Isn't that right, Daters? As you see, she's finishing up her food because she knows it's oh, going to get taken away. It's, it's almost 10. You're I said lucky. between 9.30 and 10. You're lucky. She's eating it though because she knows uh -huh. it's going to get taken. So Jeez. hopefully that answers your question. But puppies eat usually three times a day. And they actually on average eat more than what they would as an adult. It's so confusing guys. But that's what they eat. Hopefully that answers your question. Sorry, I was just looking to see if you had put your husband's name in here, but you didn't. But anyways, please say thank you to him for his service in the military. It really means a lot. So then we have this last package from Jordan. <laughs> Enjoy. I love you guys. Well, guess what? We love you too. Levi thinks oh, all the packages Oh, are and him. guess what? I noticed when I got it, this is like um, Midwest, Midwesterners unite, because it's like Ohio, Indiana, Indiana, Illinois. That's like our region, guys. <laughs> Just thought I'd point that out. Mm -hmm. Oh, we've got a, a Aww, pink that looks cute. jumper. Let's, let's read this first. Oh, here's a picture of Jordan. Jordan Brown. She looks familiar. I feel like I've seen yes. pictures of her. Yep. Maybe Instagram? I think so. Not sure. Oh. Sometimes I do creep on your guys' Instagrams. I totally do. So if you if you guys are one of the ones that comment a lot, sometimes I'll just, or a random person will like something, I'll be like, who's that? I'll click them and I'll look. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Same on Twitter. Yep. Especially like when I get new followers, I'll click them, see if they're, if they're private, then it's like, I'll read your little description, but I can't see any pictures or nothing. Yeah. So we we know who you guys are. I watch you. 
Okay, Ryan and Ariana, I really don't know how to start this, lol. I've never wrote to YouTubers, so I'm new to this. Well, thanks for letting us be your first ones. I love when I hear that someone says like they've never written to YouTubers because we're so small and like, I why are so we your special. first one? Yeah, like that's really, really cool to me. So she said, I guess I can start off by saying congratulations on your upcoming baby girl. <laughs> I can't wait to see her in future videos in the cute little outfit I got her. I hope you and Ryan like it. She wrote it to you, apparently. <laughs> I have been watching your videos for about one year now. Wow, that's like the beginning of time. Wow, man. The beginning of time. <laughs> I cried like a baby watching your singing down the aisle video. A lot of people did. Even me. Well, I, I cried in the video. <laughs> when you think about it like this, guys, 20, over 20 million people have seen me cry. How does that make me feel like a man? It's okay. And there were some people saying that he wasn't a man because he cried. I'm like, it's okay. It's ridiculous okay. people. Weirdo. More man, I think the most manly men are the ones that are willing to show their sensitivity. At least in my mind, and I'm sure a lot of you women will agree. Darn right. It means that they're actually like really confident in their manliness because like the men that are way overly confident and egotistical and like act like they have no ounce of feeling. No. That's the guy that I'm like, he's got something going on up there. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> okay, so we got distracted from your letter. So moving on. Oh gosh, I'm rambling now. I'm sorry. Hey, we were just rambling too. You don't need to apologize for it. <laughs> anyway. I'm sorry, I'm laughing and moving the camera. <laughs> Anyway, I gotta go do homework. Bye, guys. Is that really what she said? I'm kidding. <laughs> that, that's what she wrote. Oh. <laughs> but I, I was kidding. We're not leaving you guys yet. She said, Jordan Brown, P.S. I only live about an hour and a half away from you guys. Yeah, cool. Oh, I know where that is. Peru. I think we I, we would always pass it going down to Peru. I know about where you live, but not really. We watch you. <laughs> and this is Oh, that's so cute. That's adorable. <laughs> it's a little bunny. I know. Is it like a Christmas like bunny? It's a little bow. It's like a so little bow up here. That's cute. What time is that? I don't know. That's what I was just saying. Six to nine month. Oh, yeah. Really? That's six to nine? That seems big for six to nine. It all depends on, like, um, brands. Like, all brands are different. Like, Carter's is the one brand that doesn't do, like, zero to three. They have... Newborn, or no, they have, yeah, they have newborn, they have three, then they have six, then they have nine, and then even then, like, I lined up all of our clothes for her by, like, the length of them, not really by what the tag says and the size, just because everything's so different. It's like shoes. You have to try on the shoes because depending on the brand, they'll fit different. Uh-huh. Right? Yes. I think we're done. But I think we've got a good 15 minutes already. Yep. So, I think we did pretty good. We did. I don't know if you're really going to need to cut much out of that. Some of it. Because I was laughing because I, I've been using my stomach as a shelf. <laughs> so, I go like this. And so, I was holding like this. So when I was laughing, my stomach was moving. So, I was going like this. Funny. So, yeah. Like, today, I, I bring my water with me everywhere. And I just sit like this. Because it just rests. <laughs> And then it's she laughs nice. and stabs herself in the mouth. With no. It. Okay. So. Oh, yesterday's question of the day was, what was it? Your middle name, and oh. if you could change it, would you? You've got a funny one. You guys have heard this story. Those of you that have been around, you know this story. Is that Ariana was my middle name? What and she did about? change it. He was. He was like mouthing what I was gonna say. About it. <laughs> So, Ariana was my middle name. I was born, though, with two middle names, and my middle name was hyphenated. So, my name I was born with is Ashley Ariana Lynn. And I only really went by Ariana at home. My dad insisted I go by Ashley. He still will only call me Ashley. Um, but no one else except my dad and, like, the family that he lives with calls me Ashley. Um, and it's just not what I go by anymore. And so I eventually legally changed it because I was starting to sign documents, Ariana, or get yelled at at my doctor's office because I'd put Ariana and they'd be like, who the heck is this? Um, because it's, it has to say Ashley because I was like, so eventually I changed it. The same time that I changed my last name when I got married. 
So now my name is my first name's hyphenated and it's Ariana hyphen Lynn Ashley. I wouldn't change my middle name because I I, I liked my middle name so much that I changed it to my first name. <laughs> and my middle name now, I have no issue with it. I mean, it's still the first name I was born with, so it still has sentiment to me. Is that the right word? Sentiment? Yeah. Okay. So, guys, pregnancy brain is like terrible. I feel like I'm using all the wrong words. So, yeah. My answer is no, I wouldn't change it. <laughs> long story. Sorry. For whether she had to change her name. It's always a long story when it comes to my middle name. <laughs> it always is. Daisy, what are you doing, sweetheart? She's just trying to say hi. Yeah, you want to say hi? To you say hi. Girl. My answer is my middle name is Will I Am, also known as William. Mm -hmm. And I never liked it. You didn't like it? No, I never. It's better than your dad's middle name. That it is. Or your mom's. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> that is true. So I'm very thankful that my parents didn't want to continue the traditions think, of their, like middle their middle names. Name, right? No, they don't. No, they don't. <laughs> Which is funny. So they would probably change their middle names. But <laughs> I, on the other hand, would not. I have no problem with it. Actually, me and my uncle have the same middle name and the same initials, RWP. So that's kind of neat. And my grandpa has the same middle name, too. I think that's why I received that middle name. Huh. But anyways, that's that. And the featured answer of the day comes from Christina G. And it's featured, it's interesting because obviously with like middle names, whether you do or don't like it, like there wasn't like a ton of like crazy stories, um, but hers kind of started <laughs> the like funniness. an interesting trend funniness, so. Yes. So it was Christina G and she said, Marie, and I would change it because everyone has that middle name. And I first read it and I was like, I don't know anybody with the middle name of Marie. But obviously, a lot of you have the middle name of Marie. Because yeah. every, like shortly after that, everybody was saying, Marie, I would change it. Marie, Marie. I wouldn't change it because I like it now. But So it was just funny. And that's why it was a featured answer today. Because <laughs> we were like... We didn't well, know that so sounds many like people. we didn't like her answer. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> Your answer no. wasn't unique, so that's not... No, I'm just kidding. No, no, no. no but it, no, made, no. it made the answers really funny because you were the first one to say it. And I actually... No, I don't know anyone with the middle name Marie at all either. So <laughs> then seeing everybody after you say, my middle name's Marie, my middle name's Marie, my middle name's Marie, it was like, oh, holy crap. <laughs> You're right. It's really common. And that's I didn't, funny. I didn't even realize it. Yep. So that was cool. And today's, today's question... question of the day. We no. cannot remember if we answered this, and I feel like maybe we discussed it with someone else, or maybe that's why, I don't know. But if we did, you can just tell us you guys are crazy, and you both have pregnancy brain. Mm -hmm. That's fine. <laughs> so today's question comes from Impy Moo, and she, and see, I feel like she's watched us for a while, so if so we asked this, know. I think she would know. Yeah. But this is today's question, and it's two parts. So the first one is, if you put up a Christmas tree, is it real or fake? And how big is your Christmas tree? So is it a 6 foot, a 10 foot, a 12 foot? Do you just have a little mini tree? So that's today's question. I know we haven't answered the second one, so we should at least have the half that we has not been asked. So, <laughs> <laughs> so that's today's question. Yep, make sure you let us know in the comments below. Hit that big thumbs up. Now that we're like 20 minutes or so, I think we did a fairly good job. Oh my goodness. As always, <laughs> we'll see your wonderful faces tomorrow. Bye, guys. I would love to help. I could bring a ribbon to you, or I could eat that Chipotle that's sitting in front of you. I would really like to eat that. Yes, I'm also eating Chipotle first. And I have Supernatural on the iPads, so I have something 